Douglas Ivester got his start in the small, sleepy town of New Holland, Georgia. I grew up in what I thought was the world. From New Holland to Atlanta was a million miles. From Atlanta to everywhere else is really a short distance. My father uh, worked at the uh, New Holland Mill, a textile mill. My mother worked for a small electronic motors factory. The hard work ethic that brought his parents through the Depression set an example that Doug has always followed. Well, I uh, went to work when I was about eight years old. Uh, my first job was mowing lawns. It was almost a regular service uh, with a schedule and a commitment. I can remember turning down people uh, who I didn't think paid me enough for the effort that I put in. From there, I went to work for the Kroger Company. I was a bag boy. Being a bag boy uh, was cold and wet sometimes because you had to carry out groceries in the rain. Doug asked to be promoted to cashier, but the manager thought he was too young and refused. So Doug volunteered to do the job without pay in order to learn. Eventually, uh, he decided that I was a pretty good cashier. One day while at work, Doug began to get ideas about what life after high school might be like. I was actually a fellow, a local CPA here, and I carried out his groceries. And one day he had a new car. It was a new Pontiac GTO, uh, which I thought was just terrific. And that was the, I, up until that point in time, I had never asked him what he did. But that day I said to him, what kind of job do you have? And he said, I'm a CPA. And I thought, that's a good job for me. <laughs> I was the first person in my family to go to college. Doug graduated from the University of Georgia in 1969 and returned home to marry Kay Grindle, whom he had met several years earlier. In the third grade, they seated people in alphabetical order, so I sat right behind her until the teacher decided that this was never going to work, and uh, she decided to move me because I think I had stopped learning and was simply paying attention to Kay. Out of college, married, and starting on his career, Doug Ivester would not forget the lessons of his youth. I set out to be a certified public accountant, a CPA, uh, because I wanted to be in a position to see how big the world was, how diverse the world uh, is. I really didn't care so much about what I did when I got there. One of the greatest things I ever learned in Gainesville, Georgia, was to never let my memories be greater than my dreams. And I think that's so important. But when your memories become greater than your dreams, you're on the wrong side of the equation.